Hello, I am Zarkoon, and this is World of Warships Legends. Hello, Heart. Did I see the two new ships in the pirate chest? No. What are you talking about? Now I want to know. Was there some sort of announcement on the official Discord server or something along those lines? Oh, maybe there was. Mm, nope, this is just about the tier 8 ships. Uh, the Ark Royal will leave the store. Check the container contents. Okay. I gotta go to... What is that? Like, wowslegends.com slash containers? Is this the treasure test containers? Hello, Podge. What do we have? Tier 7 premium... Laf. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Tier 7 Premium Caprice. That's interesting. Can I show... Can I show my desktop here? Here we go. Um, I don't know what these ships are. Never heard of Whoops, wrong one. Never heard of them. Don't think... Don't think I've seen those names before. Those must be like Legends exclusive ships. Interesting. I have no idea what they are. The patch notes didn't say anything about them though. At least not... Not what I saw they didn't. Sebastian the Hot Sauce Dude, thank you. Thank you for becoming a member. I'm going to start out with something very different today. I haven't played this ship in a while. The Amalfi. Is my mic muted? Can you not hear me? I, I don't think it's muted. Yeah, I just turned on the monitor. Seems fine to me. What? No DDs. Hello there, Michael. Hello there. Hotshot Emu. In the Riga? I think I know that name. Sounds familiar to me. <laughs> General Kenobi. General Grievous' voice is a bit hard to do. Oh, it's been so long since I played the Amalfi. I was thinking I'll probably play some of the Tier 7 ships that are preceding the new tier 8 ships coming in the next update on the tech tree. Oh, that was a really, really delayed alert. The hell, Streamlabs. That was really delayed. But congratulations again. Thank you. The most delayed alert you've ever seen. We run a oh god. My Okay, good. They completely overshot me. <laughs> okay. So long mines. Good get out of jail free card on these Italian cruisers. Come around a corner broadside in front of a Brandenburg, Zeton, and mines, no problem. Pop that Italian smoke screen and get off scot free. Take no damage. Take 2,000 hit points of damage 
while the mines essentially get some dev struck. Um. Was impressive though, you must admit. Ah, the Ruprecht. It is the most fun ship in the game right now, I think. But for some reason on Thursday nights, last night when I was trying to play it, the queue times were too long for tier 8 and legendary tier. Basically couldn't get into it. Okay, I was wondering if I would go dark behind this island. The answer to that is yes. Still no sound. That's really weird. Hello again, Commander Tragic. Oh, is he going forward now? I better not aim behind him then. It's weird. You you see him reversing like that, you kind of don't expect him to go forward. Hello, Zap. Well, I'm not going to do anything in this game, am I? I guess I'm going to go into Bravo. Because clearly the team is going to capture Charlie. The entire flank has been eliminated. Oh, and there goes another red. Wow, is this how today's going to be? Since the Oster Godland doesn't have a smoke or radar, how is it best played? Um... Sort of as a hybrid, I guess. It's got crazy fast torpedoes, and the guns are good. You just you have to be careful about where you put it, I guess. Because you can't disengage with smoke. And it's not, like, especially fast, I suppose. I have no idea, Jeff. That's really weird. Everybody else can hear me, though, right? Maybe... Will I not go into the Bravo cap? I mean, there's no DD. There's nothing that's gonna spot me. Will I stream for the ranked games? I mean, the 1v1 ranked? Do you guys want to see that? Okay. Thank you, Legendary V19. Why are these notifications so delayed? How strange. At least they're giving the chime. Oh. Best part of the new update? Ark Royal leaving the store? <laughs> That's weird. That's weird that they put that thing in there and all of a sudden it's got to leave the store. It's almost like it's too strong. It's almost like I played like two games in that thing and the second one was 160,000 and that's all I needed to really know. It was uh, more than two games. I'm being hyperbolic, but yeah, that thing is very strong. Very strong. Very strong indeed. Although, the doom is now upon us. Um, I was watching Spartan stream the other night, and... Legendary CVs. Oh shit, Kronstadt could radar me. Or I could hit him with a torp. Oh no, the Rika. That's not good. Hey, 
I think I can take a Riga. How long? I only have to wait 20... Less than 20 seconds for these torpedoes to be reloaded. Those are going to be the uh, ace in the sleeve for a brawl with the Riga. He may have good cruiser demolishing guns, but he doesn't have torps. I need to look at my build again, though. I only have two smoke screens. I've used them both. Not that I think I will be needing them for the rest of this game, but I feel like fully packed may be the better option rather than I must have been building for reload or something for some reason. Are you gonna angle against me? Baltimore's not. I don't know, though. Maybe a little bit more lead? Yeah, I probably would have killed him if it was led a little bit more. I think it overpenned his bow. Oh, now it's going to overpen his stern, but it doesn't matter. Pit to Dell, too. Wow, what a earth-shattering game in terms of damage. My gosh, 38,626? How are we ever going to top that? What a crazy, crazy successful game in the Amalfi. Blowing stuff out of the water already. American made, thank you. That time the alert seemed like it was more reasonable. It's catching up now. Lightning, I think. This ship will be preceded on the... Succeeded, rather, on the tech tree by the Jutland. Something I'm excited about. We don't have enough high-tier British destroyers in the game, and we haven't for quite some time, despite the fact that they are excellent and fun to play. We only have the Lightning. But in this next update, quite excitingly, we will see the Jutland and the Daring. That is what I am most looking forward to. Jutland? Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose. Jutland? Is it Jutland or Jutland? Jutland? Jingle says Jutland. He's British, so... But, um, but yeah. Regardless of how it is properly pronounced. Exciting. Very exciting. More exciting, I would say, than the Hayate. Which, I guess, is like a Shimakaze, but with the gunboats of the... of like a higher tier equivalent to maybe the Shiratsuyu, something along those lines. Sounds better than just a straight classic IJN torpedo boat, but not something that I'm like, oh man... I really want to get my hands on that. Daring, on the other hand. Daring in Jutland. Jutland. However the fuck you say it. Those two. Oh yes. What else? Neptune. Does anyone really care about Neptune, though? If you can play the Minotaur? I don't know. Does anybody care about... Well, Mogador should be fun. San Luis will probably be alright. Halsas? That could be pretty damn good. Played against the Daring the other day. Super testers must still have them then. Ah. J.U. and Judge. Oh, I'm sure Mogador will be nerfed like Kleber has been. I mean, it'll... I don't know if it'll have the same 6-kilometer um, torpedo range, but I bet... 
I bet it will have like one reload booster like Fantask and Kleber both have. I guess the DD's behind this rock. I don't think these Torps are gonna hit Leon. I think I launched them wrong. If I shoot him... I'm not gonna shoot him. We need to... Whoops. We need to take care of this DD. Sorry. Whatever this is... Oh shit. Caracciolo. Udachi. Oh lord. Well, at least nothing else can shoot at me. I was wrong. Something else can shoot at me. I took out two of my guns. You son of a bitch. Oh, deep water torps. Those don't matter. Whoa, what the fuck? I didn't know there was a lay fan task there. All right. Well, I've been detonated. Excellent. Okay, so much for the lightning. <laughs> um. Okay. I thought, oh, deep water torpedoes. I'm perfectly fine. Didn't realize that the uh, fan task would be there as well really truly was the lightning round. I was thinking about playing Fantask. I don't know why I have this guy on there. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. I must have been smoking something. Probably this guy needs to be on there. I don't know, because these things are supposed to be like pretty damn good gunboats, but the reason they're good gunboats is because of this thing, but they only get one of them, because who knows why? Wargaming doesn't like to put in good gunboats. Oh yeah, he probably was on there to add fully packed for the reload booster. That's probably what I was thinking. Because one reload booster is bullshit gimmick. At least two they should have at the bare minimum, preferably three. Oh. The other Japanese destroyer is a Kagero, which allows you to decide between Kagero or Akizuki turrets. Now that, that's intriguing. That is intriguing. I don't know. I find the French destroyers a little bit, a little bit depressing in this game because of the lack of the reload boosters. I don't know why. I really don't know why the likes of Jean Bar is allowed to have two reload boosters, but the the destroyers certainly aren't. And the Charles Martel, it also gets two, three with fully packed. Why do the cruisers and the battleships get um, two reload boosters and the the destroyers get one? Why? The fuck? said French DDs will get an additional chart. Well, I hope so. It'd be about damn time. Just, does it make any sense? Does it make any sense that the cruisers and the battleships in the French lines with the reload boosters get two at base, but the destroyers get one? Makes no sense. It's like wargaming is like, no. You can never have... What we'll do is we'll bring destroyers into the game, like, for example, the Summers, okay? That's a Tier 10 destroyer. What we'll do is we'll give it all the same stats that it has on PC, including, you know, things like torpedoes, but we're going to nerf its guns to the point where they have no range, just like we nerf all the gunboat destroyers' guns to a point where they have no range. For reasons. Who knows why? I don't know. I don't know why. It annoys me, though, because I like gunboat destroyers. Oh, Robin says there's a possibility. 
Well, after they nerfed Kleber because of the torpedoes, which fine, but after they did that, like, come on, give it a reload booster. Let it be a more of a gunboat, then, if you're going to nerf the torps. I mean, yeah, it's fine, especially with the dumb concealment you can get on destroyers in this game. It's okay if you have 6 kilometer torps and your concealment's like 5.5. I suppose. That's fine. But give it, let it have more reload boosters. Let it be more of a, a gun powerhouse then. Or that, to the reload of the torps, not the range. I don't necessarily mind the ranged nerf all that much, given how concealment works in this game. I mind the fact that you can't get the performance out of the guns that you really should be able to. And I don't know why, because as far as I know, the French DDs don't have the... Spe special saturation mechanic in this game that they get on PC where the the sections of the ship saturate really really quickly when they're hit by HE so as time goes on they take much less damage it makes them more tanky I don't think they get that in Legends so just like any other destroyer why not allow them to have the burst of more than one reload booster Okay, what are we spotted by? Our destroyer is... he's gone right down the center. The other destroyer's in our base. Clearly there's one out here on the flank spotting us for anything that would care to shoot. We, meanwhile, have no spotting whatsoever because this genius here has made a fantastic move. Rushing a gross occur first in the middle of the enemy base where three minutes have elapsed in the match, and he's surrounded by enemies on all... Oh, he's dead. Huh. Weird. Yeah, that is how it's done. Although you have no room to talk, Mr. Shimakazi, sitting in the base. Where's the spotting? Like, hello, there's a destroyer here. I can see torpedoes. Yes. Get out on the flank. What is this guy doing? Another genius tactical decision? It worked out for the Kleber so well. He went up the center and got utterly wrecked by the enemy ships. But he's a destroyer. He has no HP, no armor. Meanwhile, I am a very, very powerful Des Moines. Yes. So I will go up the center, and I will use my 27 millimeter of armor to bow tank a GK. What a fantastic plan. How long does he survive? 60 seconds? 120 seconds? Place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen. You will win absolutely nothing except the satisfaction of knowing that you were right. Oh, look at that. He's got no HP left. He's still alive. Oh, there he goes. So that was probably like 60 seconds, right? Let's see if I can get this Ruprecht in a place where I can make it work. The destroyer is a little bit of a problem. I don't think the Yamato is paying much attention to me, though. I might have to turn on this sonar. Is the destroyer of Friesland? What is the destroyer? Gearing. Okay. I could launch towards this way. I'm gonna turn this on just so I don't look like a complete fool and get bamboozled. Is 
he even he doesn't care he's like who cares about this German battleship I'll just let his I knew this was gonna happen that's why I turned on the sonar dodged Yamato does not give a fuck. My secondaries apparently can't shoot over the trees. I'll have to get the rune instead. Die, you German cruiser. Close, but no cigar. Hello, Yamato. Nice bow tanking you're doing there. Is that going to save you from these torps here, I wonder? I have doubts. Oh, well, you did hit me pretty good there. I'll give you that. But you're dead now. Goodbye. As for you, Kroon, you must get fucked as well. Oh. Nice torps, though. Nice torps indeed. What the fuck was that? something else out here? I'm gonna die, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm getting focused. I don't know what these ships are. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted. I don't know how the... how we're gonna manage to lose that game after our Kleber and Des Moines did genius moves with their ships in the beginning. I thought, you know, I don't know. How do people feel about the Brit heavy cruisers in the AA role? Does any ship have an AA role in this game? Aside from maybe, like, the, the Friesland. Cheshire. Don't know that AA matters that much. What do we play now? Maybe the Colbert. I, I finished the Bureau project on this thing. Finally. Siegfried got you a Clear Skies medal? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. CV just thrown his planes into your AA, I guess. I don't think the Siegfried's AA is spectacular. You people keep extolling the virtues of California's AA, but I could be wrong. I distinctly remember in that Ark Royal video that I put up, um, there's a California whose AA did not matter at all. But, to be fair, that was an Ark Royal, and uh, it's being removed from the store due to too much spice. too strong. Has there ever been a ship that they released in an update and in the very next update they pulled it from the store? I don't think so. And this is why earlier in the week I called to question their entire philosophy of balancing by pointing out the summer's stats because I don't know what standards they operate by one pass from the arc wrecks much of yeah that's true planes regenerate anti-aircraft guns that get knocked out by high explosive do not
Wargaming and standards make money. Hmm. I'm sure that's a factor. Can I perform a turn in... Ooh. Elimination. What an appropriate name. Well, I don't know. It seems like they try balance changes with respect to CVs like every other update these days, so who knows? That could happen at some point. I wonder what's aiming at me. Ah, that's what. Probably should just be continuously shooting my guns. Where is this damn DD that's spotting me? I assume it's gotta be like over here somewhere. Alright, can the minnow actually hit me? I think it probably can. Oh, there's the DD. God, pay attention to your map. Will I go dark? Yes. Okay, nope. Yes. No. Yes. Go dark. Okay. Well... Oh, that's good. Lob a little bit here. Oh shit. Kamato might be able to hit and return. Oh yeah, he's pissed. That was... Not exactly the correct interpretation of where my ship was as far as the aim, but he is very angry. Might as well use one of these heals. I don't feel like I can really push out though, not with the Alaska and the Minnow around. I'd like to do something about that gearing, but not gonna happen. Got some hate mail in the cold. I mean, it is somewhat distressing to be constantly hit with this volume of fire. Of course. What's aiming at me? The minnow? I even hit the Alaska once. Okay, it's not the Minnow, it's the Des Moines. Hmm. And maybe this Musashi. Go dark. Go dark. Go dark. Yes. Here's one of the most dangerous battleships in existence. I'm going to poke it with a stick. Well... That's the job of this thing. It's to annoy those dangerous battleships and see if it gets devstruck in return, pretty much. This is probably a bad idea if I don't have the engine boost ready and the Musashi has my broadside. Wait till Yamato shoots. I think he only shot one gun. 
may not be good. Maybe don't run into the island like a complete idiot. Well, that's bad. I deserve to die now. Who's aiming at me? Is it Musashi? Yep. Juke the shot, perhaps? He's not a... Oh, okay. We got... Okay. It's all good. We don't have to pay for our terrible errors. We get away with it. Well, we could have been killed there. But we weren't. This map really sucks, I gotta say. Not a fan. Yukumo. Um. Okay, well. Gotta shoot at the DD. Regardless of if there is a Musashi. Is he dead? I hit him three times. Not dead. Hmm. I think now I can push in, though. There's only the Yamato left. I can probably even shoot at him, maybe. Use the speed. Yes, the designated target. aiming at me now. Come on, another fire on Yamato. I know you can do it, Colbert. the minnow for now. He can't hit me. I am French. Yamato can barely hit me at 11 kilometers. Maybe I should switch to the AP. Nah. It's fine. Okay. Now that I don't think he can shoot me anymore... Oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Oh no, that's Alaska. Surely, though, the Yamato is probably... dead? Minnow can't hit me. Or spot me. Can I no longer hit Alaska either? What are you doing, my friend? What are you doing? Not quite enough oomph. Hello, Phil. Oh no! Radar. Super scary. Super scary to be radared. I don't think anything can shoot at me, though. Turn on the sonar. Oh, there it is. There's the Alaska. And Yamato. Our DD is in the center, though. I guess I'll just run away here. 
What's this? Oh shit. That's a dead Kronstadt. Oh, I, don't, I think I might have left it a little bit too late. Can I hit the Alaska? Like with some AP? Surely he will shoot at the Kronstadt first though. You have to, right? Okay, I'm gonna die if I don't kill this Alaska like right now. Oh, the Colbert has 32 millimeters of armor. It's so tanky. It also has a bunch of shell catching platforms designed to catch and arm all the Alaska shells. I'm going to die. Die, Alaska. Superior DPM. Oh dear. Well, if I die here and the destroyer lives, we still win. Maybe I can juke the shot. Full stop. HE. I think that's toast. That's toast. Superior DPM. You don't need torps when you've got the highest DPM in the entire game. You just need to repeatedly shoot. <laughs> wow. What a crazy amount of firepower this thing has got. That was pretty close. Game started off a little bit rough. A little bit rough. Kind of want to play the Minotaur. Because we're getting the predecessor to the Minotaur. Neptune. Do you think Neptune will have... 30 millimeters of armor plating like the Edinburgh or will it have no armor like the Minotaur? Probably the latter, right? I think it would be the latter. Yeah, I saw I don't have the Don Skoy. But I saw that um, it was getting a buff in the patch notes, and I thought, hmm, I wasn't aware that it needed one. But okay. Delny, of course, is getting a nerf. Because we can't have anything fun. It's not allowed. USS Laffy. has 16 millimeter plate. That means it can be overmatched even by, or no, that's 13, right? What if 203 millimeter guns overmatch? Is it 13? Oh my God. Get moving, Wooster. What's this? Gearing. I figured it would have same as Minnow. Who knows why the Edinburgh gets 30 millimeters everywhere. It doesn't really make sense. San Louis is the French cruiser.
San Louis could be pretty spicy. Charles Martel is pretty spicy. I think the thing is essentially just a bigger Charles Martel. Fuck a duck. That's a crunch, Dad. Don't shoot me, Mr. Crunch, Dad. No. All good. Hello, Spartan. I want to reverse a little bit and turn around the other way. How alive is the... Oh, okay. The gearing's very alive. That's good. Hello, Lil Pete. Don't we all? Oh, fuck a duck. Yep. That hurts. That hurts quite bad. Am I going to get spotted by this gearing? Die, gearing. Yamato, where is it at? Spot the fucking Yamato. Or gearing, rather. Oh, never mind. Torp? One Torp. Spot Yamato. Hmm. Not good. If I shoot at the Yamato, I will be spotted. But I want to know where to launch my Torps. We need to take out this Yamato and then get into A, I think. Come on, Gearing. Spot it. It must be in the smoke. Blind towards. This uh, Kronstadt, though, could come around this corner, I bet. Clearly the Yamato's sitting in the smoke. Or he's right there. Oh my god. How did the gearing not spot it? Will he shoot at the Wooster or me? Kill the Yamato? Maybe we do have to go more in the center.
interesting torps. Well, the gearing work on the Yamato, and I guess go toward the center. I wish I had Stalingrad, but I don't. Don't aim at me. Booster is HE spamming you. Unless that's not Yamato aiming at me and it's Kronstadt instead. It was Kronstadt. Okay. So I guess we need to go over to C since it is being capped by a destroyer, despite the fact that there is a Kronstadt on the perimeter and another destroyer. You'd think they might be countering that. Maybe the other destroyer can't because of the two red cruisers. I don't know. Maybe I go into B and then A. Actually, yeah. That's what we'll do. Oh, how I wish I had Stalingrad to play next game, though. Um, I don't know. Fucking radar. Well, at least we know he used it. And it's got, what, 20 seconds? DD and a smoke over there. I'm about to smoke up myself, but we'll turn on the torpedo detection system here. All right. Well, you've used your radar, Kronstadt, and you're sailing right into those torps. Actually, I think he's going to go past them. Maybe not. Okay, torps into the smoke screen then. Despite taking four out of four caps, the enemy team is losing very badly. I think they did that old catch 22. Using up all their resources to take the caps now they can't survive to hold on to their cap lead. What a tragedy. There's the gearing. Sad that I couldn't get the gearing. And the last battleship, Montana, running away. Another solid win. It's that time of the week. That time of the game's life cycle before an update is gonna drop. And just wait till Monday if you think the quality of this kind of gameplay is excellent. Things are about to get even better. Yeah, this Transformers music. The implementation of Legendary Tier takes away the excitement from the Tier 8? Perhaps.
like some 1980s cartoon music. Yes, Montana. Oh, okay. Died before the shells even reached him. Yes, give me, give me those five. Ooh, GG Crunch Dad. Give me those five steel. Got eleven point seven k steel. What to play next? I could play something Russian. I don't have the Stalingrad, but I do have a rare Russian battleship, the Lenin. The live action 90s Ninja Turtles, oh my. If someone wanted to truly test the commander reset thing after an update is when it... Well, nobody should waste time trying to test that thing because it's dumb. It's non-existent. There are actual problems in this game. Like... The question of why does Wargaming balance ships the way they do? Commander resetting dispersion is not one of the actual problems. Do not fall prey to the superstitions of the ancient peoples who think that r and Jesus can only be pleased by sacrificing copious amounts of that blue commander XP. You may sacrifice that blue commander XP to appease r and Jesus, but he will bestow upon you no favors, and you will have just sacrificed your commander XP for nothing. It would be a fruitless endeavor. Hello, Brit. Thank you for the super chat. RN Jesus, yes. RN Jesus, we beseech thee with a sacrifice of this blue commander XP. Make our RNG good so that we can citadel our enemies. Ah, but I didn't sacrifice any blue commander XP to start this game. I don't actually have the range to hit the Colorado. Oh good, a CV. The only true counter to the power of Soviet glory. Ah, 15,200. Meanwhile, we take almost no damage from the surface ships. Oh! Okay. Another 15.2. I probably should just get good, I guess. Do I need, like, a screwdriver or maybe a crowbar to break apart my controller so I can find the button that allows me to list my ship and angle the deck against the sky? Is that my problem, maybe? Hmm. I probably should just stop complaining and get good because there are clear and apparent counters for this kind of nonsense. I'm just not aware of them. It's not a problem, though. CVs add an interesting layer to this game. They're a much-needed thing, because destroyers are overpowered. Say the battleship mains who sit their battleship in one place reversing, so that the torpedoes have an easy time hitting their broadsides. Hmm, there we go again, yet another citadel.
But yeah, probably I should just quit bitching. And I probably shouldn't give the shell catching surfaces of the Lenin to my enemies. That was disappointing. Need to turn around here. Go unspotted, hopefully. Maybe kill this Edinburgh. Can I heal any more? No, I can't. Because it was citadel damage. I can't continue this turn either with the Iowa over there. Yeah, Edinburgh. You gonna turn? Not quite. Am I dead? No, nope, not quite. Parsival coming around again. This is a Parsival, I assume. And probably what I need to do is move my ship more so that I can throw off his dive bombers because... As everybody who's played a CV knows, it's impossible to hit a battleship that is turning. There's no way to do it, actually. Hmm. Was that a par- Oh, it was a Graf Zeppelin! Wow. Wow. Okay. Graf Zeppelin. Who knew those AP bombs worked? But they were citadeling me, for sure. Does the... I'm curious now. Oh, yeah. I guess he didn't spec into the AP bomb alpha, otherwise he would have been doing 7.7. .7. Yeah, just maneuver. Just maneuver. I did ask in that video I made called uh, The Fun Police Issue Me a Citation. Um, I did ask what I was supposed to do in the face of Parsival bombs when I think I played that Prince Ruprecht extremely well against the surface ships. I'm supposed to angle my deck against the sky or something? Just dodge? Is that the solution? It's almost like there's no fucking counter. It's weird. Hmm. Ah, yes, just maneuver so you can go broadside to the enemy ship. Yeah, it's really annoying when, like, the interaction between surface ships involves things like maneuvering, angling, positioning behind islands, all that kind of dynamic, interesting stuff that makes this game fun. And CVs just, they come in, and... Drop some bombs. They don't have to worry about maneuvering, angling, any of that stuff. They just need to maybe not fly their planes into the AA bubbles of a bunch of grouped up ships. Otherwise, oh god, they might have to wait for their weapons to reload a little bit longer. Oh, such risk. But, uh, doom is upon us now. Oh, God. Because we have, uh, legendary carriers now in the game. Yeah, hopefully they don't bring submarines. I can deal with the CVs. Most of the time they're played really poorly. I can deal with them. Submarines, on the other hand? Oh, my. The Kronstadt's not as bad as I thought it was when I first played it. It's alright. It's not my cup of tea, though. Ark Royal is disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. So is the Saipan, I think. 
and the midway. Ugh. Just wait till those start infesting the legendary tiers. Oh man. Arc equals fun, ruining other people's fun? Well, you say that, but wait till you play the midway. Or the Hakuryu. Either one. If you really want to have fun, ruining other people's fun, what you need is a legendary aircraft carrier. Here we go, the fun is already beginning. I guess I probably should have just dodged these. I'm sure there's was like plenty of opportunity for me to just dodge those. But I completely failed at it, so I probably deserve to take like I don't know what that was. 11, 12, 13k damage that I can't heal? Because I didn't maneuver properly. Hmm. Punishment for poor gameplay, I guess. Oh. Now he's dropping the Talon. Well, that's okay. There's a DD and Alpha. Where's our CV? Will he spot the DD and Alpha? I'm gonna think no, he won't. Ah, yes, the Vanguard. Er, Gnizen now. Oh my. Should have shot HE at him. Good job, happy cabbage. Wish we could see the Ochikov. Spotted by the enemy planes? There you are. You little fuck. Oh, that's way too low. Those are not gonna hit at all. Or are they? No, they're not. Yeah, no. Oh, that, by the way, there, that was not a bug. That was me not aiming right. Just so everyone's aware. Dachi going to be able to I oh god, that's not good. That's not good. Can we shoot at the black? The shells always fall short. Hmm. I don't think it is a thing. I don't think it is a bug in the way you guys think it is. Because it never happens to me. And the times when it does, I can pretty much just chalk that up to RNG. Oh no, I saw that they are soliciting videos of it happening. But I'm inclined to take their word that they can't replicate the issue? Because I don't think it's an issue. That's sort of my uh, take on that whole thing. 
Um, everything I do in the game is good, uh, that is good is because of how awesome I am. If I do something bad, it's because the game is bugged. That's sort of my theory on why people are hung up on these so-called shells falling short. Because I... Oh, fuck. He's gonna die. I think there are only problems with shells falling short when things like islands get in the way of this auto-aim thing. This auto-aim doesn't always work right over islands, and it aims your shells too low. That's about the only time I see it when I think it's wonky. Or if a ship has come to a stop, it seems... Jesus Christ, Georgia. It seems like the aiming system can get confused when ships come to a stop. And I have maybe seen some shells falling short in a way that I think is suspicious in those instances. That's about it. I'm gonna die to these torps. Use the reload boost for nothing. Can I save myself? Nope, nope. Yes. Safe. Fuck. Yeah, but I think that's probably just cases of dispersion. I'm gonna die. Fantastic torps are. CV's gonna kill me. Oh, I thought Fantastic might kill me. Am I dead? Cop not gonna shoot. Torpedoes to starboard. <gasps> no. What a shame. What a shame. I was hoping for a dev strike. It wasn't a bad hit on the CV for sure. Could have been better. Could have been a dev strike. But you, you take what you can get. Maybe we'll go up to legendary tier and play the Montana. This big old fat. I kind of think I should probably take this off of here and put on steering gears because this rudder shift is borked. In fact, I think I am going to do that. Oh, it's still tragic, but... We'll see you, Spartan. Delny before the nerf? Yeah, I probably should play Delny before the nerf. But I've been thinking every time I play the Montana, I don't really think I need this um, this acceleration buff that I get from this module. I'd probably better switch it out to the steering gears because this thing doesn't turn, and then I just never do. But that's what I think to myself very often when I play this ship. And I think Spartan does that. He's probably gone now, but I think he does put... The steering gear is on his American battleships. Good 
What is this world of cruisers? World of Cruisers Legends. This game has eight cruisers in it. Eight cruisers. That's almost half of the entire team composition. If you are not usually stopped, it'd say steering gears is the better choice. True, you're probably right about that. And I... I try not to sit stationary in my battleships whenever possible. And what I'm gonna do is kinda sail to the center, I think. Because Kleber is pushing out and he's bound to start spotting some shit, I would think. Mm-hmm. There's one. Not very good target, though. It's also not a very good target. That's a good target, though. Oh, yes. Hmm. He turned. Still hit him for 10k. Yamato can shoot me. Shit. I was hoping he would not be able to shoot me. Now he can't, I don't think. Those might get something good. Or they might get a single over pen, you never know. All right. I don't wanna to be too far behind these islands. I'm hoping the Yamato comes this way. If not though, we'll... yes, I know you need my assistance. I can see the Alaska. I just can't really shoot him yet. Maybe I can. That got him. There we go. I don't know why I didn't use one of these planes in the first place. Got six of them. I don't think you can use six of them in the course of a battle. I don't know though. I should, like, make a point of trying it. I might have aimed too high to get a citadel. Doesn't matter. You're welcome, Kleber. I don't even get a thank you. Is that... FDG, AFK. Um. Fuck. I don't want to be caught like this bow in with the Yamato right here. Is he going to continue to give me the cheek, though? Not enough. Not enough angle. Torps. Of course, gearing torps too. Ouch. Is that enough cheek? No, no, he's turning in even more. Alright, that's it. There's a gearing here as well. Be sure to shoot me in the side, Yamato. 
Oh, he doesn't even shoot. Okay. I mean, you can just aim at my bow. God, this is so bad. Dead Yamato? Okay. Probably gonna get nuked by gearing torps, maybe? And again, it does have a pretty slow reload, doesn't it? Oh good, I'm dark now. I don't really want to have to shoot HE at this FDG. But maybe it will lull him into a false sense of security. If I hit him with a, an HE salvo. And then do the old switcheroo. Yes. The gearing is... Oh, the gearing is dead, isn't he? Good. I don't have to be quite as cautious then. Wooster. Okay, this is where things might get a little fucky with these shells. How fast are you infected? Actually, no, I think the first set was led right. Second set, maybe not so much. Oh, but we do have a special plane. Very special plane. Is the FDG actually shooting HE at me? That seems foolish. Can this Wooster die, please? Ouch. That's unfortunate. Somehow I don't think our Kleber is going to be able to take on both of them. This Wooster really needs to die. Ah, uh, the Kleber is going to go meet the Shima. I hope he can kill him. He doesn't have any support, and I don't know if the Shima does. Torps? Come on, Kleber, kill the Shima. Alaska? What are you doing, reversing? Oh, is he stopped? So they're all gonna miss? Is he juking it? Yeah. What is the other DD gearing? I'm gonna guess he's probably launched some torps. Maybe I can smack the FDG pretty good. One can hope.
Why don't you get away from that FDG, Alaska? You, Wooster. I feel like you might slow down. Hmm. Okay, so there's the gearing torps. At least some of them. A broadside to where that Alaska is, though. I had hoped that would not happen. Yeah. That's a shame. 7km torps? On what? On the Magador? I wish, um gunboat build on the Kleber was more viable. Anyway, Delny. Delny, before this glorious thing gets nerfed. Sad. The most successful destroyer at tier 8. Sad. too successful. They have to take it down a peg. Oh yes, the too hot to handle camo. If it's appropriate on any ship, it's appropriate on Delny. For sure. Oh, I don't know. I just have not plugged the face cam back in. I found it very distracting to have to pay attention to how I was framed in the camera. I mean, I could do it again. Brutus on cam. I think he was napping. He just got up, though. I don't know what he's doing. Yikes. I wonder if that battleship will continue to push in straight like that. I don't want to just shoot my guns quite yet. I'll be damned, he will. I want him to turn the other way though. Turn towards me. Now don't turn that way, you son of a bitch. Whoa, a Malfi. secondary range as well. But these 
things are really hitting. Ah, torps are not quite ready yet. Almost. Slow it down a little bit. Maybe get the Bismarck with the torps. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Surely he won't sail in a completely straight line. He's got to have turn sonar on, right? Yeah, he's going to dodge those. Maybe if I had shot at him earlier. Should have held on to these torps, honestly. But somehow I don't think they'll be necessary. What is that? Ah! does have that there sonar. Are my torps back up? 41 seconds. Hmm. What's that? Amagi. What kind of range does he have on his sonar? Is it like five point something? I probably don't want to get close to the smoke. Oh, wait a minute. Hello. You're reversing out of the smoke. Better go forward. But you're still reversing. Okay, now you're going forward. Now you're dead. Not for me, but that's okay. Now we can get into the cap. Oh good, and I'm the last destroyer left alive. Yes, I am also slightly disappointed that we are not getting the upgraded stats menu. I really want to see that. The change in ports, though, is a nice sort of quality of life change, you know? The ability to... I think there's five different ones they had listed. The ocean one might be kind of nice for getting thumbnails. It'd be nice, though, if... Oh, God. Fuck. Oh, it's just the Amalfi, though. It'd be nice if, um... If you could, like, pose the ships in port, like... So you could take a screenshot of them while they're firing their guns or something like that. There's no reason they would ever put that into the game, but... It would be great for being able to make thumbnails and such. Yeah, I think they said they plan to release those training rooms by the end of the year, so after this update on Monday, there should be one more before the end of the year, and hopefully we'll see like the updated stats page and the training rooms and all the rest of it in that update. I'm glad to see we're getting the daring, though. I've wanted that ship to come to the game for a while. 
I've been thinking I want to grind to it on PC, but I'm at the Icarus, and I'm just like, eh. I don't want to grind that line. It's really good. I don't know why I don't want to grind it, but I just don't. Ah, fuck. I potatoed out of the cap. Fuck, fuck, a fuck a duck. Yeah, Daring is going to rule the waves for Britannia. No doubt about it. Especially with Orc Boy. Grow Mats, or whatever his name is. Um, and his uh, skill in the fourth row that ups the HE Alpha and the Fire Chance. That's going to be like... Crazy. Wait a minute, what the fuck? My team was not doing this poorly. Why is it only me and this guy left? What even happened? Oh my god, we have 35 points. They're gonna kill him and we're gonna get zeroed out. Probably shouldn't reverse into the torps. Does he have will to rebuild? Hopefully he has will to rebuild. I don't want to get zero pointed. Can you kill the Peter Bag Ration? Oh well. Decent hit. I'm gonna push a little with him, I guess. In the hopes that he does have will to rebuild. Start maybe enticing them to fire at me. No, I can't be his will to rebuild the entire time, though. I need to get more points, though. <laughs> to rebuild range. Ah, oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die, but at least it's not gonna zero us out. What the fuck? What the fuck? What did they say they were going to do to those mods, by the way? Did they say they were doing something to the range boosting mod? I know they said they were removing the debuffs on the turret traverse one, so that's fantastic. I was wondering if I could penetrate that armor. I guess not. Just kill me. If you can. wasn't even meant for him. 5%? It goes up to 10%? Ooh. Ooh, very nice. 
20% no reload buff. Yes, yes, that's good. That's good that they removed those debuffs, because those mods, I don't... They don't have those um, debuffs on PC, and as a consequence, they're a lot more usable. So I'm glad they're removing those debuffs. I'm getting more range on the likes of, you know, certain gunboat DDs. Um, like, uh, where's it at? Ah, Akizuki. You see, I've got Karita on here, and I've uh, bumped him up to Legendary 3, so I've got this skill fully maxed. And of course, I got Rumble on there. So I kind of got maybe more than enough range, I'd say. 13.5. And that's also with the 5% um, range module, I'm pretty sure. I guess I can't go back to port and look now, but I'm pretty sure the Akazuki gets that range module, and I've got it on there. Hello, Richard. Hello, person who is typing in Cyrillic. Ah, the glorious Akizuki. I wish... I wish they had said, All right, everyone. Well, it, I guess it wouldn't necessarily make too much sense, but if they said, Okay, everybody. Next campaign is for the Tier 8 Premium IJN Destroyer Kitakaze. I'd be excited. I don't know if they would make the Kitakaze a premium, though, or if they would just put it at Tier 8 after this one. But... That would be exciting if they made the Kitakaze a premium or something like that and made it tier 8 and put it on a campaign. Yeah, the matches are whatever. It's a pretty chill day, I would say, Shannon. Ran into a... Is it pronounced Kirisame? Something like that? I have not seen one. I haven't seen any of these testing ships. Might not be too bad to follow this Kiev into the cap. Ochikov is... Not ideal. Ooh, Benson. Downside of having great gun range is you remain spotted for so long. Maybe I should put... Um, Wale, or whatever his name is on this build. Oh god, there's a moss. Put on the reload boost, you never know. Fuck. Well, now it's me they're looking for. Can I go dark? Engine boost? Okay, I took up way too much damage there. Maybe I should launch the torps into this smoke screen too. I mean the moss. Those moss guns? Those torps gonna hit him? It looked like they might have been somewhat close. Maybe not. But okay, so both the moss and the Benson are here.
Benson got blapped. Zeton's getting fucked up, though. I wonder if the Benson is going to continue charging around this way. I don't know if I want to go this way. This thing is so slow. Maybe. I mean, i got to kill the Benson, and if I can, like, isolate him over here, then I can kill him for sure. The problem is if the Moss and the other battleship are shooting at me along with the Benson... Petro tier 7? Wouldn't put it past him. Where are you, little Benson? I better... Oh. Okay. That's not ideal. Put the torpedoes on the indicator. Who knows what the King George will do? There it is. Oh, he's slowing down. Not quite that much. Fuck. I guess he's already burning. Ah, now we're not going to get any damage. Actually, can this thing pen the King George's bow? Um, okay, so I'm all alone with no friends. Did my torps just reload? What has just been spotted? Fuck, what am I radared by? Oh my god, I'm dead. Goodbye, cruel world. Chikov. Ah. Well, sixteen citadels. Sixteen citadels. Not quite enough to take down the Ochikov when your tiny little guns only do. 1700 on a citadel, but <laughs> not quite enough. Almost. Imagine almost losing to a gun. F <laughs> yeah, that was that was close. Almost, almost, almost got him. Just. Maybe if the, uh, maybe if I had been running, um, that mortar skill, or was I running that? I don't think I was. Maybe if I had been running that mortar skill for 10% extra damage on the AP, that Ochikov would actually be dead, 
and then I probably would have went dark. I think the King George was maybe behind my smoke screen. I don't know, maybe he thought his citadel was invulnerable to the puny little guns of the Akazuki. But no. It can be a rough experience. It was a rough experience yesterday in this game. I don't think it's that much better today. But it's to be expected. Yeah, probably. If the, if the crew had broke out their bolt-action rifles, that Ochikov would have been sunk. Maybe a couple pistols, too. I guess... I don't know. What's the DD? It's a Shima. What's that? Mm. De memes. The Lord of Games. One ship to rule them all. One ship to find them. One ship to bring them all, and in the darkness, burn them. The Des Moines. Oh, fuck, there's a Des Moines. A bit spooky. Need to get around this island before the Republic fucks me up. Oh, good. Nice to know it's just Des Moines spotting me. Maybe there's a DD. Hmm? Des Moines? Ah, yeah. Fuck you, Des Moines. Fuck you and your first fire, first salvo RNG. I am not gonna use the damage control on this one. Actually, I am. Shouldn't have used it in the first place. Yes, just a Des Moines, yes. I watched that video today. He hasn't really done that much damage to me. I think if I actually turn in here, it might not be too bad. I don't know if there's a DD in the cap, though. I don't think so. Ah, yes. Please don't light me on fire twice, Des Moines. Oh, he's dead though, he's dead, I'm dead. I've been caught bowing to a Ray Public. Des Moines is such a bitch to dislodge when it gets a position like this. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. Oh, I've been caught bowing to a Musashi. 
it's even worse. Now I have to reverse like a complete spud. Maybe I should just go for it. The Ray Public might be dead soon. Oh good, at least he shot at the DD. I wondered if there was going to be torpedoes incoming. Come on. Ah, oh, we're not going to be able to do enough damage to this Musashi. Still not shooting at me. It's good. Great public is though, fuck. Well, Shima. Betty launch torps. Oh, what are you doing? You shouldn't do that. I doubt these are going to be necessary. Hey, did I shield my teammate from the torps? You're welcome. You're very welcome, Yamato. Kill that Musashi now. I'm glad my carcass could be of assistance to you. Ah, he even killed the Musashi. Hmm. Well, now I can take pride in the fact that I provided some indestructible torpedo armor for this Yamato. This communist Yamato. Hmm. That was fun though, I guess. Maybe more German battleships are in order. I haven't played the FDG in a while. That seems like it could be fun. These newer German battleships are kind of fun. FDG's kind of fun. Prince Ruprecht is very fun. Ah, the Atlantic. This fucking map. They have a Saipan. I think I might be pretty close to completing the Saipan Bureau project. Isn't that like a tier 11? What would they do? Add another tier with two stars and call it like super legendary tier? Mythical tier, maybe? No super ships? I 
Oh yeah, now that we're getting the Alsace, I guess we are kind of all out of French battleships. Yeah, there haven't been enough French BB campaigns between Jean Bar, Flandre, Republique. Haven't been enough. There needs to be at least a dozen more, I'd say. Is he turning in? Oh, who's that? That's a CC camo. Who the hell is that? Great. Torpedoes. Oh, they're coming from this side. Oh. Let me, uh... Let me just dodge here. Engage in some counterplay. Oh, very nice. Oh. Hmm. Still gonna hit me with two, isn't he? Cool. I can't actually even hit the mines. Okay, now I can. I don't think those are gonna hit, though. Do the Shima Torps have the range? Well, might. Is this fucking Saipan about to bomb me now? Yep. Oh, yeah, I probably should have just dodged that one, too. Well, I thought this might be like a fun diversion, but no. It's kind of not. Oh, yikes. That was some dispersion. There we go. Hmm. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Maybe I should have shot at the hipper. Oh, dead. Cool. Sovetsky Soyuz killed me, right? Hmm. Yeah, okay. That was nice. Oh, look at that. I am on nearly the last segment for this monstrosity. Have it soon. FDG isn't meant to survive the early game. 
kind of want it to so you can actually use it to have some fun. Eh. What are you going to do? Maybe if this is going to be World of CVs today, we'll take out a boat that actually has functioning AA. Maybe I should play the Oster Yachtland as well. Well, would you look at that. We take out the boat with functioning AA, and of course there's no floating plane factories in sight. What a damn shame. What is the destroyer we're against? A Tashkent. Hmm. Now imagine grinding all the tier 4 to tier 6 boats with... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, and you can disagree with me if you want, but there is no counterplay to CVs. That's especially pronounced at the lower tiers, I would assume. The Friesland might be like a counter to the CV, kind of. But the only true counter is a uh, friendly CV. At least we can't have two of them in matches, though. You think it's, um... Well, it is painful at the lower tiers with some of those ships when CVs are around, but, um... At least you can't have double CV games. Silver linings. Oh, God. It's the Tashken. I guess I have to smoke up too. Really didn't want to have to smoke up. But that cruiser there, I'm pretty sure, would have spotted me. Ah. AP, maybe? No, stop. Don't float into the torpedoes. God damn it. Are there any radar cruisers? Yes, I'm aware. Uh, mad that I gave up that smoke. Oh, Lord. Please kill the Charles Martel. Get it away from me. to hit a maneuvering cruiser with this thing. I guess I'll push out. Okay, there we go. 
push out a little bit further now, maybe pick up that Tashkent again, maybe spot these ships or something. Oh, there's the Tashkent. He's dead, I think. You never know, though. You really, really never know. Well... Okay, he is dead. I think this guy's dead, though. Oh, my. Okay, so the main, I don't think, can shoot at me. Uh, fuck, a Massachusetts. If only I hadn't used the smoke. Engine boost activated. Definitely don't want to run into that island. Die, Vladivostok. Just out of the Massachusetts secondary range, it looks like. I don't think he's got him quite up to 10 km. Can we get a fire on him, though? That'd be nice. One fire. Finally, I was gonna say, I guess we're not allowed to get fires today. Oh, there's nothing that can torp me, but... Okay, back to Massachusetts, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. He gonna reverse? Oh, yep, he's gonna reverse. Well, this is some nice, relaxing battleship farming, I guess. get out of the smoke screen here soon, though. I don't actually know what my gun range is. He's getting close to the edge of it, though. Yeah. Come on, let's have it. There we go, there we go. Now you're doing the right things, Friesland. I gotta keep up the golden showers on that Flandre. At the very least, you can have fun with Friesland. Spamming like a little little cruiser or something? I don't know. OK. 
Okay. I think we win. Battleship is dead. That just... Just the cruiser. Yeah, well. Alright. Oh. I forgot the Ray Public. Got a... Transformers camo? I don't know about that one, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it... Eh. Nah. Nope. Don't like it. I don't like it. Something about the orange and the blue. It's just not my favorite color combo. I'll tell you what does look good though. The GK's Transformer camo. That looks good. It's more minimalistic. Less in your face. You got too many permanent camos for your Bismarck. You know, I saw that unsinkable Sam stuff they uh, put out codes for. Any of those unsinkable Sam things camos? Because there's one. Ugliest camo is the red Christmas camo. Huh? Yeah, I don't really. I'm not a fan of that one. Some people say the CC camo is the ugliest camo. Oh, that gothic cathedral looking camo for the Bismarck? That'd be fun. I think you have to buy that thing with, like, steel, actually. When you say that rotten cheese camo, are you referring to the Autobot camo? Because if you are, then yes. The orange vom or the orange vomit camo, the pumpkin one, that one's pretty bad. The rust one is pretty bad too, yeah. Because it's just rust. But I don't know, something about the pattern of the rust is really bad. The pumpkin one, yeah. The vomit looking one. Yeah, that's hideous. Edinburgh or Cleveland? I think if it was... I don't know, the Edinburgh might be more interesting. I don't know what I would do either. Set me, crunched at. I'd like to farm some more damage. Oh no, he can't reset me. Oh, he died. Hmm. Yeah, Edinburgh very versatile. Cleveland is parked behind Island. See, yes, that's why I said Edinburgh would probably be more interesting. I don't know if I like this guy on the Oster or not. I kind of think I do, because of the Torps. Let's go with it. I don't think, um, I don't think I'd have a hard time picking, maybe I should put Sims on here. 
I've been messing around with this build. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, I was going to say if I was if it was a choice between the Minotaur and the um Wooster, I would pick the Minotaur in that case for sure. I guess what are you what are you gonna do? I guess we'll go into the center a little bit. See what appears. Maybe launch some torpedoes at whatever that is. Bet there will be a DD around though, right? Located. I was gonna say, I don't think Chappie's gonna be doing that. Maybe we can get into the cap then? Not located anymore. Does the DD go into A maybe? And he's locating that? Nah, I don't know. Hmm. What? No. Cannot come this way, Chapayev. Z23. Oh good. Chapayev's running away. I guess next we go for A. It was good of the enemy DD to suicide so early. I guess the battleship died too, but who cares? Easy solo capping the center, completely uncontested. Somehow I thought that was going to be more difficult. Well, if one DD suicided into Charlie, where are the other two then? One of them has got to be entering this alpha cap, right? Eh, Wichita. Can you kill that? Cleveland? I don't know if Cleveland can kill that. Probably put some torps out this way just in case. You never know. Well, there's one of the DDs. Friesland. I don't really want to shoot it though. Don't want to give up my position just yet. Talking a radar. I 
But I think I'll take this cap and I'll turn around and go for the Friesland. That's what I'll do. Yes. Torpedo's gonna be reloaded again here in a second. Hmm. He's gonna make it into the cap before I can take it. Not in the cap yet. God, the Wichita is coming. Gotta leave. Engine boost activated. I think what we do though. Put one torp there. And give one to the Veneto, maybe. They reload so fast. Now go after the Friesland. Benetto thinks he's super sneaky. Hopefully those Torps will hit him. Almost too fast. Friesland might actually spot me here, though. That's not good. Our team has taken the lead. Radard. I wondered when that was going to happen. I think Friesland might kill me in this gunfight, for sure. Probably shouldn't launch those torps, but... You never know. Fuck a duck. Friesland's got me sonared. God, I have a potato. Oh, I think I'm dead now. Yep. Wow. Well, that was bad. Hello, Peter. Okay. Eh, what now? What now? I haven't played the mines in a long time. I feel like I haven't played it since it came out. Maybe that. Yeah, Kaba's uh, side armor thing is pretty nice. I don't think I've played Georgia yet. Yeah, maybe Georgia. I feel like by playing the Friesland, you've ruined the experience for other DDs. 
Why? Because it just melts other DDs? I guess we'll go this way. It looked like fun. Eh. Felt suspiciously not like fun. What a nice name. Will he spot anything, though? Ah, yes. Something that I can shoot at, though. Now he's turning away. Ooh. Oh, the most effective cruiser at tier six. Can't allow the most effective cruiser at tier 6 to run amok. Are those torps gonna kill the um, DD? Oh, no, they don't need to. We can't allow the Tiger 59 to run around, though. He's the most effective cruiser at tier 6. He'll demolish our Fletcher and our Amalfi. Look at him go. Look at him there. You can see his four shells coming out of the smoke. Oh, this Amalfi. He doesn't know what he's in for now. He's about to square off against the most dangerous cruiser at Tier 6. Slow little bitch Italian torps are no match for the Tiger 59. Minsk is a highly effective cruiser at tier 6, but it's not quite effect as effective as the Tiger 59. The Tiger 59 is kind of like if you took a Friesland and said to yourself, what if we take away its HE, make it bigger, give it a Citadel? Maybe I'll switch to the AP for this most effective tier 6 cruiser. This armor is super effective. Oh no, shit, shooting back. How can I survive the onslaught? I think my shells might actually be too flat to arc. Oh shit. Well, that Flanders just got fucked. Probably ought to shoot the AP at the Flanders, honestly. With that flat of a broadside, ouch. Well, it was bound to happen. Okay. 
I'll be damned though. The most effective cruiser, tier six, lost to an Amalfi, a Fletcher, and a Mines. I was told that thing can single-handedly carry games. Shocking performance. It must have been driven by a real potato. That's the only explanation. Hmm. Oh no. The death YOLO. Nothing can be done now. I wonder if that, how cool, well actually he is very close to the BB. I think he can close the distance. I have to turn on the sonar here. Ah, there it is. Oh, well. Good job, Paolo. Well, he did not achieve his ambition, so I call that a success. Did I see the Brisbane? Yeah, I did see that. Did you see that tier 10 German DD they're putting in? That has, like, Harugamo guns and British smoke? That thing is crazy. That thing sounds like it would be super overpowered and a ton of fun to play. German destroyer too, so I think it has the built-in extra HE pen. It's got 10 guns. It's got, I think it had like a 36 knot speed and a 600 something meter turning circle. So it's got really great maneuverability, British smokes, 10 guns. That reload in like three seconds, they're 100 millimeter guns, but I think they penetrate like 26 millimeters of armor or something 25 try to give this Peter bag ration a bit more than he's bargained for with this HAP That. Oh, the Wichita Collector's Edition. Now I guess we go Wichita hunting for the rest of the battle. Wasn't much of a battle, though. Wasn't much of a battle at all. Wichita, Wichita. If you see me, will you shoot at me? Give it up. Come on, Wichita. Fight me. Go down with honor. Don't run away. Here, you lost sight of me. If you're trying to debate on whether you want to shoot at me, let me show myself again. Come on, Wichita. It's a free shot. You'll probably land the first blow. 
Shoot me, Wichita. Don't run away. Don't prolong the game for literally no reason. It's not like you're gonna get a better position than what you already have. Shoot me. Why do people do this? Why do they just run away without... Like, surely you want to take your Wichita out into the next battle and try to get a better result next time, right? So, end the game. I am letting you have the first shot. Just shoot me. Gosh. How much longer till we hit 1,000? Where did he go then? Did he turn around? He must have. Like, what, did he turn this way? definitely turned right so what he's just running like over here somewhere he's definitely not over there though he's definitely not over there otherwise there's no way I'd be spotted Will he show himself with, like, the last couple moments left? I'll be damned. He shows himself with, like, two seconds left. Holy fuck. Look at that Amalfi. Oh yeah. Georgia. Why would the Wichita do that though? I can't think of a reason why you'd just want to prolong it. Unless you're just really salty about your entire team's dead and you're the last one standing, so you want to stick it to the enemy team. But I think in those cases, it's not really the enemy team you're sticking it to. You're just sticking it to yourself. Just die and move on. Usually people that play the Amalfi are better than the average potato. That could be. You don't see a lot of Amalfis out there. And I don't think people think it's worth grinding to. So I don't think many people do. Did you see in this patch notes, by the way, with these Black Friday ships, speaking of Italian battleships, the Tier 3 free Black Friday ship, the Dante Alighieri, but it gets the SAP module? I wonder if that's a sign of things to come. Although I find it really weird that they're like, yeah, we're going to give you Black Friday Bismarck and Black Friday... What else was it? But Black Friday Bismarck with improved secondary range. And Black Friday, was it a Buki with improved accuracy? Like, what the hell? You're going to sell buffed versions of tech tree ships as Black Friday premiums? That's weird.
spotted him. If I go behind this island, will I not be spotted? Really? Yeah, that's true. It's not the first time they've done premiums of tech tree ships with the Azur Lane ones. But usually black... But those were not, um, those Azur Lane ones were not upgraded, or not buffed versions of the tech tree ships. Actually, Azur Lane Baltimore is, uh, is worse. This Black Friday Bismarck gets better secondary range, and I don't have the Ibuki, but, I mean, better accuracy probably isn't a bad thing for it. Sound like buffs to me. Yeah, but isn't the reason you play the Bismarck more for the secondaries anyway? Aren't they buffing the the main reason people want to play that ship in German battleships, the secondaries? So I guess the point isn't necessarily that it's buffed, but... Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. If you're going to essentially copy-paste a ship that you can get for free in this game, you probably want to do something to it that makes it more appealing so that people fork over actual money for it. I guess that makes sense. Just seems like... Maybe that's not the kind of Black Friday content they should be coming out with. And at the same time, is it like, do you really want to sp how much would a tier 7 premium cost like a tier 7 Bismarck like what 17 17,000 doubloons maybe do you want to really spend 17,000 doubloons to get some extra secondary range and I wonder how much extra uh, range we're even talking is it like a kilometer two kilometers half a kilometer it's like it's like 0.2 km I bet watch it's like you can get them up to like 11.5 or 7 or something on the regular Bismarck, but on the Bismarck B, well, you get like 200 meters more. Hello, young economics. Stealth secondaries? Eh. The, uh, the Schlieffen can almost have stealth secondaries it's got like 12.6 km range on its secondaries and its concealment is 12.7 actually has stealth torpedoes because it has 13.5 km elbing torpedoes where's that nelson It is 200 meters more. Yeah, 7.7. .7. Is that really worth spending, like, whatever it'll be? 17,000 doubloons? Probably not. I mean, if, if they give out enough free crates and you happen to pull it out of that, then... Cool, I guess, but... Do you really want to fork over that many doubloons? And isn't like the Ibuki's turret bugged or something? I don't have the ship. I've heard that it is. But is that fixed? Well, 
Once you're a CC, you don't even have to make videos anymore. <laughs> Um, if I... Okay. I was hoping maybe that DD would be close enough that I... Oh, shit. That I could spot him. I'm about to run into an island. Can I not? Who puts these goddamn little rocks in the cap circles? Are you... Okay. I was gonna say, are you, like, reversing? What are you doing? Hmm, that DD is starting to farm me. Speed, Georgia. Go forward, please. Now he's reversing. Wonder if he has H E or AP loaded. AP, okay. Fuck you, Nelson, and I just ran into the island again. Citadel, please, die. Okay. My god. I am not with it today. Hitting islands is bad for your HP, especially when you're broadside to whatever this DD is. Jeez. The hell is that? Oh, it's a Friesland. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about torts. That's unfortunate. I should probably try to shoot at that Friesland. Oh my god. Am I going to hit another fucking island? Wow. Well, okay. At least the Friesland is dead. Use this last heal here. Maybe we'll win this yet. Yeah, I pulled out a Jambar B, though, from a crate on PC. So... Somehow I managed to survive that uh, fairly incompetent maneuvering. Ends in five minutes. These uh, rocks here are tricky. A little bit inconvenient if you're driving a battleship around. What are these cruisers? Mogami and Surrey. They're at least very squishy on the armor, I guess, but their guns hit hard. Oh, fuck. A full health Iowa. No health Flandre. I'm dead now. Well, that's unfortunate.
pointing your guns at? I thought he had shot. Hmm. Maybe if I had more hit points and maneuvered better, that would have worked out better. You know what else I want to see? Return is the Elbing. When can we get that? I think I'm going to play the Des Moines. Then I think I might play the Charles Martel and wrap it up. The games today have been mediocre, underwhelming. And really all I want to do is play the daring. Oh look, it's Profit. Or Profit, even though he spells it P-H. That's the F sound. F is in fuck. So like, Profit, basically. As you can see, I have the highly attractive please shoot me camo on the Des Moines. Everybody always wants to shoot the Des Moines anyway, but when they see this camo, they tend to want to shoot at it just a little bit more. What are you doing? Go up to this cap, Shima. Go to that cap. What are you doing? God damn it, Shima. I'm a radar cruiser. I can get up to this island and I can radar the entire cap for you. Why are you sailing away from... What the fuck? Okay. Well... Don't need to ask any more questions, I guess. Um, the gearing is coming, so that's good. Okay. DD is in the cap. I'll wait till the gearing gets closer. Yamato as well. Not if he puts out a single fire. Oh shit. That could have been way worse. I go around this corner. Sovetsky Soyuz. Fuck. Actually. Just shot. We're good for a few seconds anyway. Oh, 
Oh, those torps don't have the range. I don't really want to show the... Sovetsky Soyuz, my flat stern. It's not even aiming at me. Can I go dark? No. Where is this goddamn DD? Can I go dark yet? Son of a bitch. Did he just shoot his guns too? You're right at the edge of the radar range. Unfortunate. Go dark. Think R N Jesus. Okay. Suppose the right thing to do is to go for the Colbert. Because I'm pretty sure if he gives me even the slightest hint of broadside. Spotted? No, okay. Oh? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You better come around this corner, Gearing. You need to spot things. So use fuck fuck fuck. Where's Yamato? Is he dead? There's another DD spotting me. Oh, you again. Shoot the Shima. Guns traverse too slow. <laughs> Detonated. Okay, now I feel uh, fairly all right. Is the Colbert pushing forward? Yes. Sail, okay, he stopped. I bet I could like break every single one of his guns. Gonna get the scraps. Hi there, Colbert. Enemy cruiser sunk. Now to 
take this cap. Oh yes, I earned every point of that damage on the Colbert, for sure. Oh. Um, maybe the Musashi should stop shooting. Unless he'd still be spotted anyway. Well, we win. I don't think I really contributed all that much, but whatever, I guess. Now these two battleships just, they could both die, so I'm going to take the other cab. Oh, nope, they killed him. Okay. All right. Well, I say it's that time of the day where we go and take out the glorious cruiser of French superiority. Chuck. Des Moines is not very different after the nerf. That wasn't a great game in it, but the nerf uh, was kind of trivial. I guess the radar nerf was the most significant thing, but still it's extremely strong radar too, so... Yeah, the fun police. Okay. So there's this Kirisame thing. It's hard to tell from this distance. It's got one turret there. So what, it has six turrets? And it's got, is that like two torpedo tubes? Five torps or four torps? Must be a, ah yeah, super tester. Hopefully the lightning spots something good. Something nice and farmable, I hope. Not quite what I wanted, but it'll work. Spotted, yes, okay. BB. Fuck, I hope it doesn't spot me. All right, excellent. I don't think Talon can lob his shells. No, he can't. I almost can. And I knew there would be torps. Fuck. 
No, don't let me take, okay. Good thing the French have speed. AP does hurt. Probably could use a reload booster, honestly. Maybe save it for that DB. Alright. Oh, shit. Away from this map border. Another fire on the Bismarck would be lovely. have four shatters. Oh, these slow-ass turrets. Ooh. Lightning really got roughed up there. Unfortunate. this synop hmm. I don't know why the lightning isn't in the cap yet it'd be good if he was okay he's going in there well that was no lead at all Die. Kill him before he heals. Come on, Charles Martel. And no. Too much healing. Could have been bad. What's he doing? Is he gonna reverse? Are you gonna reverse? Why would you reverse? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, it's 4v4. Hmm. GG, I guess. Ooh. Our lightning doesn't have any HP. We've got Oster. Ooh, 
Who's gonna do that? All right. Now the fun police. Oster doesn't have a ton of HP. What's the cruiser? Edinburgh? That's fine. That might not be fine, actually. No, it is fine. Absolutely wreck the Edinburgh. Lexington. He's pushing in toward us? Yes. By all means, Mr. Lexington, keep doing that. This Edinburgh. Sorry, DD. Boost. Yeah, I think we would boost here in a second. Fuck. Yeah, reload boost for sure. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm gonna die. That's going to be enough for our DD. Well, we still have the CV alive. At least I killed the CV. He suicided. And he's spotting for the DD. Is the Oster going to kill it? Oh? Okay. Okay. Doing all right, John. Bit of a nail biter. Jesus Christ, listen to that AA. Well, there's still four minutes left to go. Oh no. Oh no. Careful, lightning. Maybe get into the cap. CV's coming back. I want to see how this pans out. Because we could still lose. The lightning's going back into the cap. The CV's coming back with Torp bombers. What is it? A Saipan? Kaga. Oh, uh, the enemy just overtook us on points. Lightning... On lightning. Why can the CV not find the DD? Why is he calling back his torpedo bombers? Oh no, he's not. Are those them there? Did the Oster go this way? I don't. Somehow I don't think so. We need to secure that cap, and that lightning needs to not die. Yeah, 
would assume the Oster went this way, considering the last known direction of his ship was pointing this way. It's annoying that it takes you back to the CV if you're following its planes while spectating. Use your bombs, Kaga? Well, we overtook them on points. The Lightning knows where the Oster is so he can get away. Don't push into it. I guess if you have smokes left. Ooh, it's so risky. So risky. It's a good thing that Lexington suicided, though. Okay. Well, it's a win. It was a pretty mediocre game on my part, though. I'm going to do one more for luck with the Charles Martel. Try to get a good result out of it. But if we don't, it's the last game nevertheless. But a bonus. A bonus one in the Charles Martel. Because that was too mediocre. Just too mediocre. Northern waters. What do we have? Good, no CVs this time. Lots of battleships to farm. Amagis, Flandres, Maine. Lovely. I think I should probably... I know I'll have more than enough sp XP on this thing to get the San Louis. That's for sure. The problem is having enough credits to buy them. Because I don't have anywhere near enough. I've got, like, enough credits for maybe one. I do have 25,000 doubloons, though. <laughs> Could be converted into credits. I feel like that would be kind of dumb. time though. And I know there's a BB this way. Go undetected, por favor. S'il vous plaît. Thank you. Just gotta ask it in French, I guess. Grogu Wannabe. Okay. Where's the BB? Is the BB about to come around this here corner? I feel like you gotta stay away from that Wichita. Okay. Fuck, fuck a duck. 
Oh, good. He shot at the Kronstadt. CP a single fire? I think he did. I think that's a dead Amagi. Bit of a deer caught in headlights moment, I guess. He didn't expect to come around the corner and be faced with so many enemies. Fairly tragic, though. Oh, thank you, Dave, Dave War, for the membership. I apologize if I mispronounced your name. Oh, there's the chimes. Oh, it is. It is, and we're about to get the Tier 8 version of it on Monday. A fun ship indeed. Probably blap the shit out of the Wichita. I don't know what that other cruiser is, though. What is the Wichita? Ah, uh, he's not broadside enough. What the fuck? How fast is the Kronstadt? That other cruiser, I hope it's not something like a Kronstadt. No, I think the wisest thing is going to be to figure out whatever this cruiser is. I think he's going to come around this corner. He's over here anyway. Oh, it's a hipper. I wonder if my torps will hit. Probably not. Oh shit, I guess I am in his torp range. Honestly, I didn't think he was close enough. Hmm. 
no. Not good. Okay. Well, he had to be dealt with. Who knows what mischief he would have gotten to if we didn't go find him. Hello, from Croatia. You come in at a unfortunate time, because this is going to be the last game of the stream. It's already almost 4 o'clock. Wow. My, how time flies. That's about all I can do for today, though. This game was still kind of mediocre, but they all have been today. At least I got to rip a hipper apart. That's always fun. Kronstadt. A little bit more farming, maybe, before this game is over. Not enough lead at all. Okay. That's fine. We'll just sail the seas. Just sail the seas for the rest of this one. 86,238 damage, two citadels, two kills. Not the most impressive thing you've ever seen, but... This guy needs help. Don't we all, Kansas? Don't we all? Kronstadt. Girthquakes. Hmm. Oh. Oh no, he's gonna go behind the island. Well, it doesn't matter. Girthquakes radared him. Okay, well, at least we did 2,000 XP. It's not the worst. How did we actually do for the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... What's that? 19 games? There's 4 victories there. 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven out of nineteen. Ooh, it was a real rough stretch. Back in the beginning. Yeah, it was a real rough stretch. Yeah, not the worst, I guess, but not that great either. The seas are choppy out there, ladies and gentlemen. If you go out on the high seas today, just be prepared for mediocrity and quick games for the most part. Unfortunate, but I will see you all again very soon. I plan to stream the day the update drops. Thank you for tuning in today, though. But that is it for me. Keep an eye out on the channel of Yonkonomics. You can see him there in the chat. Simply click on his name, take a look at his channel. He streams regularly. And I don't know if he's streaming today, but if he is, 
then go there. <laughs> um, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.